Oklahoma's agricultural and food industries have a rich heritage in our state and are a significant portion of our economy. From wheat to cattle, we feed the world. Unfortunately, many of these commodities are currently sent to other states or even other countries for further processing before reaching the consumer's table. However, the Robert M. Kerr Food and Agricultural Products Center, located in Stillwater on the Oklahoma State University campus, is committed to keeping these products, jobs, and dollars in our state. FAPC, established in 1996 through the efforts of the late Senator Robert M. Kerr, provides both small and large businesses with access to professional research and education. Hi, I'm Jennifer Reynolds. As you're going to see, the FAPC has a number of different ways to offer assistance in the food and ag products industry. We're going to look at eight different areas in which the FAPC is ready to lend a hand. Let's begin with the entrepreneurs. FAPC provides three low-cost training workshops for entrepreneurs and small businesses. Basic training, financial management, and real-world marketing. These workshops can help you to learn how to develop a business plan, identify and evaluate your market, price and promote your product, comply with state and federal regulations, do a feasibility analysis, and work with cooperatives. Meet Jim and Judy Scoville. Their homemade pasta sauce was such a hit, friends and family encouraged the couple to market it. After attending the workshop, FAPC helped them refine their recipe for mass production and determine the nutritional content of their sauce. They are there to help fill in the answers. We can ask the question, sometimes we don't even know what questions to ask. Food safety is one of the most critical issues facing processors today. Unwanted pathogen contamination creates liability problems and is also a health risk to the most important person in any company, the customer. That's why the Food and Agricultural Products Center has a major focus on microbial food safety from the farm to the table. Unitherm Food Services, located in Bristow, Oklahoma, was already a leader in custom manufacturing when the company saw a need for pasteurization equipment. FAPC provided the research necessary to expand their business. At that time, we were breaking into brand new ground. This is technology that, today we have patents on these processes, something that Unitherm didn't have before, um, and are recognized for having led the world, or I say the world, but at least at this point, the US market, into a much safer regime of food. Now, that work wouldn't have uh, been capable by my company without the relationship with uh, the FAPC Center. Whether it's staples like beef, pork, or poultry, or something a little different like catfish, the Food and Agricultural Products Center has the facilities and expertise to help make Oklahoma's meat processing companies the most efficient and profitable in the nation. FAPC can help with training and demonstration, process equipment clean-in-place evaluations, equipment evaluations, new product development, evaluation of functional product ingredients, technology transfer, thermal process evaluation, and consumer market testing. FAPC can help solve both short-term and long-term challenges, as well as concerns with food safety. Their on-site USDA inspected facilities mean products created there can be used for test marketing in the public sector. Companies such as Bar S Foods utilize FAPC to keep costs low when developing new products. And our plants are geared to running high volumes of product, very streamlined operations. So it's very costly and very difficult to do testing. We still do some testing, but the Food and Agricultural Products Center gives us a place to test and develop new products without that interfering and adding additional costs into our day-to-day -day production operations. Cereal 
grains, such as wheat and sorghum, are the crops that feed the human race. They're grown in greater quantities than any other crop worldwide, and they're essential to Oklahoma's economy. That's why the FAPC has researchers who specialize in finding food and agricultural uses of cereal grains. They also explore ways to improve end user quality. Wheat is a half billion dollar crop for Oklahoma, but the state's wheat producers are facing increased competition from the global market. When officials at the Oklahoma Wheat Commission realized millers could purchase wheat from other countries at a lower cost than wheat grown locally, they had a serious problem on their hands. So if we can't compete on price, how are we going to compete? It's either going to be on price, quality, or service. And if we can't compete on price, uh, and we're already trying to provide the service, we're, we're going to have to compete on quality. But we do need the technical background and technical assistance provided by FAPC to uh, address that quality and how we're going to market that in the world market. Oil seeds such as soybean or canola are another crop that shows tremendous promise for the future of Oklahoma. FAPC can assist in the development of value-added oil seed related processing and products, as well as enhancing the nutritional and economic value of plant-based materials and oils. Oklahoma provides a fertile land to grow all kinds of horticultural crops. Sales of those raw fruits and vegetables make up a significant part of Oklahoma's economy, but the benefit could be even greater. The Food and Agricultural Products Center is teaming up with Oklahoma horticultural producers to find ways to add value to their crops. For example, you take a Stratford peach, you turn it into jelly, then you put that into a gift basket, and you watch as those baskets are sold nationally and even internationally. Now the sweet Stratford peach means more money for the producer and for the state's economy. The FAPC has a number of ways to help further process the fruits and vegetables grown in Oklahoma. Those Stratford peaches are being cooked into jelly by Amanda Savage. Refreshing non-alcoholic gourmet grape juice is bottled by Redland Juice Company in Lexington. And several crops are going into the jars of salsa and pickled corn from Tahlequah's Backwoods Food. From the pilot plant facilities to the individual attention from the specialists, the FAPC is helping Oklahoma producers take the next step forward. We would have had no idea as to what to expect, and, and we probably would have ended up quitting. So I think we're, we're here today uh, because of them, because of their help. Food engineering goes to the very heart of value-added products in Oklahoma. The Food and Agricultural Products Center can take the home recipes of beginning entrepreneurs and develop them for mass production. That was exactly the case for Ron and Barbara Crane of Wagon Creek Creamery. They own a family dairy and they were frustrated by volatile commodity prices. So they decided to add value to their milk by changing it into a unique product for Oklahoma. It's called yogurt cheese and it's just it's an up and coming product in the United States that very few people, especially around here in Oklahoma, have heard of. After Barbara and Ron went through the basic training workshop and developed a business plan, researchers at the Food and Agricultural Products Center looked at Barbara's recipe. Well, when we started out, we had had a little recipe book that had a yogurt cheese recipe in it. And to make it at home, we would make the yogurt in a glass gallon jar, then put that in a cheesecloth and strain it overnight. So we wanted to see how we could do that on a big scale. The final process is very similar to Barbara's home recipe, but utilizes equipment made by an Israeli company. FAPC continues to be an important resource to solve equipment and manufacturing problems. In the world, we had little bits of information from here, from there, that we were putting together, and we were on the right track, but to have somebody that could go through and, and say, yeah, you're doing this right, and here's something you need to watch, um, was, was just invaluable. One of the key functions of the Food and Agricultural Product Center is product development. It can be an idea for a brand new item or maybe an established company wants to expand its product line. 
I'll show you how the FAPC uses its test kitchens, pilot plant, and analytical labs to transform ideas into products. Ideas for new products frequently come from established businesses. JM Farms in Miami has been growing mushrooms since 1979. Recently, they had an idea for adding value to their fresh mushrooms. It's a totally new venture for us. Um, you know, we're going from working with um, pretty much a raw, partially processed product to a you know, cooked, breaded um, product. It's uh, totally different than what we're doing right now. The FAPC can be a one-stop shop for businesses and producers needing some help creating a new value-added product. For example, specialists helped JM Farms find resources for breading, decide what kind of equipment to use, and finally determine a price for the new product. Sometimes product development gets down to the molecular level. Whether you're an entrepreneur or you have an established business, the Food and Agricultural Products Center is ready to help with any product development ideas you may have. I encourage anybody that is even thinking about you know, working with FAPC to give them a call and, and see everything that they could do for you. Agriculture is most often thought of as the industry that feeds people. But agricultural products involve more than just food production. For example, agriculture is providing alternative fuel sources. A vital part of the state's economy comes from forestry and wood products. And Oklahoma-produced goat's milk is used in bath products. The specialists here at the Food and Agricultural Products Center are partnering with entrepreneurs and producers of non-food products. They're finding new and innovative ways of adding value to this expanding market of agriculture. These FAPC specialists are hard at work in a sorghum field, fine-tuning a new type of harvester. The harvester was developed by an entrepreneur from Iowa. Lee McClune is looking for ways to use sweet sorghum as a source of the alternative fuel, ethanol. Well, we're supposed to be harvesting juice here for, uh, for OSU uh, to run some fermentation studies on. A major meat processing company wants to turn its waste into energy, but the company needs help. Bar S produces more than 400 million pounds of processed meats a year. That's a lot of meat, and it also means a lot of waste. They invited food engineers from the FAPC to spend some time in one of their plants. The first thing they did was uh, they did a checked all our waste streams and stuff like that, measured how much output we put out per day. The, the various waste streams that we do, whether it be corrugated, you know, broken pallets, um, plastic from packaging equipment, um, uh, the hot dog casings, things like that. When the FAPC gets involved with the client, it's a team approach. Specialists work across departments to assist producers and entrepreneurs. That was the case with Carol and Max Greer. They approached the FAPC with an idea to produce an environmentally friendly laundry soap. The idea that I had was taking and utilizing agricultural ingredients instead of phthalates or industrial chemicals to create soaps that are natural and utilize products that are grown on the rural farms instead of man-made chemicals. The FAPC assigned specialists from several areas to work with the Greers. They needed to make sure there would be a market for their product. So they started with a business planning and marketing specialist. Then they worked with an oil seed chemist who helped develop and fine tune formulas for soap making. And a processing engineer helped them determine what types of equipment would be needed to process their new soap. If you have a product you'd like to develop or you want to know more about services offered by FAPC, call 405-744-6071 or go to fapc.biz.